show facts and trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, I ask you to please subscribe. Um, if you have any suggestions on what things you'd like to see, let me know. So far, so good, I think. Um, I like to throw these uh, trivia about episodes in. I'm trying to spread them out a little bit, but uh, I got another one for you. And if you would stick around to the last one, because it is very interesting. I did not know this. Um, kind of shocked me, as a matter of fact. It was kind of funny and kind of sad at the same time. Um, the Mayberry Town Count. Oh, I forgot to tell you what it was. Uh, this is the Mayberry Band. Um, the Mayberry Town Council is shown discussing the decorations for the upcoming Apricot Blossom Festival. In reality, apricots don't grow well in North Carolina. They require careful management and don't consistently produce fruit. It's unlikely Mayberry would be celebrating apricots when the state produces uh, nearly year-round crops of peanuts and sweet potatoes and greens. Just doesn't sound as, you know, the Greens Festival. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the Freddie Fleet. Uh, band's car is the same extended 1947 Cadillac that Bobby Fleet's band had in season one. It's the guitar player. Still have not yet to understand why they changed it to Freddie Fleet from Bobby Fleet, but it is what it is. Uh, the mayor's door and the printing on its window are exactly the same as the Greendale mayor's and uh, Sheriff Barney. Uh, here they've added Town of Mayberry above mayor's office. When the Freddie Fleet band members change into the band's uniforms and Andy comments that the trumpet player doesn't have any music, you can plainly see Peggy's house over Andy's right, sho right shoulder and uh, Taylor home over his left. Now for the one I thought, wow. Uh, Anita Corso plays Helen Crump, and I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. I never do know for sure. Uh was a friend of Jim Fritzel who wrote this episode and she, she suggested the name Phil Sunkel for one of the Freddie Fleet Band members as a tribute to a musician friend she had back in New York. Uh, she didn't tell her friend about the, this and when the episode aired, Sunkel sued the show. Uh, she tried to explain the situation to her friend but by that time, uh, Sunkel had settled out of court. <laughs> I wonder if she got any heat from that. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you being here. Um, don't forget the trivia question on Facebook page. Uh, and as I say, don't forget to subscribe and please share these. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless. Mm -hmm.